thing about uh, EFTC through a roundabout way, I was volunteering at a hospital in Antigua a few years ago. I became friends with some other volunteers and heard about this place. I came out and to visit just to see it and I just absolutely fell in love with the place and have been coming back uh, every year since. We fell in love with this program and we felt the need to support it in some way. So our goal is to meet the annual budget to assist the children every year with their healthcare costs. That includes their doctor's visits, medications, transportations to hospitals, uh, laboratory work, anything else. The health issues by far is education. <laughs> And that sounds kind of funny, but if you look at globally, the, the only thing you can really do to change health outcomes long term is to provide better education that leads to better uh, knowledge of how to live and develops a better society. Water sources are a primary issue in developing countries. Um, chronic malnutrition is secondary to infectious diarrhea. So I think the school does a great job of uh, accommodating all those, those issues. I work in a very corrupt system in the United States. It's, it's not a healthcare system, it's an insurance-based system. And for me and a lot of the people that come here, this is a sort of respite where we feel like we can do work uh, without receiving any monetary gain. The work we provide is appreciated by the children and their families. And it's something that we really feel good about supporting. There's a little kid that I visited with this morning who was diagnosed with a seizure disorder last year. He was having daily seizures up until uh, he was able to receive treatment in Guatemala City from a pediatric neurologist. The school helps pay for the visits that he goes to. He now has been seizure free for several months and he was having seizures nearly daily. He's had one or two seizures this year total. So that story in itself is, I think, pretty impactful for me knowing that without the school's help, this kid's life would be you know, greatly impacted with ongoing seizures. The interesting thing about the fundraiser, it actually doesn't pay for our trips. All the volunteers pay their own airfare, cost of housing and food out of their own pocket. The fundraising only goes directly to the school, and to the school only to help pay for the cost of medications, doctor's visits, etc. And we also hold a annual fundraiser at a restaurant where we play games, people donate items for a silent auction, and all the proceeds go directly to EFTC. I think the foundation is a very great place. I think it attacks the core problem in societies, being poverty and education. Without addressing those elements, you can't address the psychological or health needs of a child.